Hello everyone, welcome back to Roz J's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at Rogue Yellow Snow IPA. Got a double deuce here to take a look at and get a taste from. Um, don't know how familiar you are with the Rogue family. Usually it puts a real good quality product out there. Uh, nine ingredients make up this beer. Carafoam, Melanodin, Two Row and Rogue Farms Dare and Risk Malts, Amarillo and Falconer Flight Hops, Free Range Coastal Water and Pac-Man Yeast. Pale golden in color with a hoppy fruity aroma. Big hop flavor up front complemented by medium body and hoppiness. Mid palate it finishes with a characteristic lingering bitterness. So this is their one of their India Pale Ales as you can see. Get that up there so you can see that all on the label. And the ABV on this one is actually 6.5%. So it's got a nice little uh, boost there. You're looking at an IBU of 70 as well. So go ahead and get this baby open. A nice little uh, kiss there. Let's check it out. Pretty good color coming in. You definitely have that golden tint. Probably put a little too much more head on it than I usually like, but you know, it does give you the good two fingers um, in that regard. Definitely, I don't know if you can see the stuff working on the inside with the bubbles, but um, does represent pretty well. I do like the appearance. It does have that cloudiness in appearance with it. Makes you kind of a uh, little nervous yellow snow. <laughs> That's kids, you're always told stay away from that. But um, let's go ahead and take a sniff on it. Ooh. Right off the bat, I mean, you can have the hops just hit you. I mean, the hops are coming off pretty strong. Definitely some good flavor off the hops. Really like that. Um, wow, it almost smells like some, uh, <laughs> dare I say, some old marijuana bud from back in the day. Oh, I do like that smell. Smell, ooh. Yeah, you can uh, you can definitely get that. Some fresh hops for sure that are coming off of this beer. I mean, they talk about it being a malt type feel. Um, as far as the malts being both the dare and the risk, um, two row. But uh, I can't really place the smell as much, but. It is definitely a, a strong freshness to it. Give it a taste. Mmm. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, that's good. That's a good good uh, bite to it. Um, not really too bitter, but gives you enough bitterness. Sits well on the tongue, has a real good mouthfeel. The flavor does scream as a India Pale Ale. Um, I would I would agree. It does have a nice medium uh, body on it. Um, the hop flavor is big on here, like it mentions on the bottle. You do get the taste of the hops. Um, does have a characteristic taste to it. Um, that bitterness does linger. So I would say it is as advertised. Um, not getting as much. It says of the fruity aroma. It's almost like, to me, more of a, a piney type aroma. <sighs> yeah, this one is... Uh, this one is real good. You know, you have to be careful though. Too many of these might get you in a little bit of trouble. So, uh, might want to take a little light on this. But at six and a half percent, definitely give this baby a thumbs up. Think it can uh, definitely deliver. Looking forward to finishing this bottle out. Thanks for uh, coming by. I oh, by the way, um, as far as beer advocate, they do rate it as an 85 in the very good category. 
um, if I was looking at this one on a scale of say zero to five, I'd probably put this at a good four star. Um, definitely one you want to try if you can get your hands on it. But again, this is the Rogue Yellow Snow IPA. Definitely a recommend. Thank you. Stop back again. Uh, make sure you check out the blog for more updates as well.